Now, meteorologist Jamie Jarosik and your Storm Team 2 forecast. We have some early showers out across the Miami Valley, and mainly right now they're in our eastern county, so Champaign County, spotty activity around Urbana, and that extends down into Clark County, but it's east of Springfield along 70 around South Vienna. And uh, even south of there into Greene County, we have some rain uh, extending into the northern part of Greene County, but it is east of Xenia at this point. Otherwise, you could have a little bit of drizzle or just some lighter mist in the air beyond that. And there are some more showers back to the west. So it is going to be an unsettled first part of the day where we hit and miss showers through the morning and then getting into the afternoon. That's when we expect drier conditions. A wider view shows this area of low pressure right here. You can see that spin in the atmosphere impacting us this morning morning just getting some light rain out of this one. There's more energy back to the southwest that is going to travel southward and then eventually make its way up towards us as we head into Thursday and Thursday night. That'll bring in our next chance for some showers. Here's a check of our forecast for today. Right now we have some light rain reported. It's 57 degrees around lunchtime should be drying out. Still can't rule out an isolated shower, but 65. And then in the afternoon, a little more sunshine as we climb into the 70s. It is going to be a windy day with winds picking up between 10 and 20 and gusting up around 30 miles per hour. But the afternoon overall looks pretty nice besides the wind. Showers and thunderstorms are going to be possible Thursday into Thursday night. And there is a severe risk late, so towards evening and into the overnight hours, especially for our area. Our southern counties, Butler, Warren, and Clinton included in a slight risk. The rest of the area in a marginal risk can't rule out a warning or two for severe limits and then outside of severe thunderstorms we're going to have some strong wind so that is expected Thursday night into Friday morning and because of that we do have a high wind watch in effect for all of our counties uh, from 10 o'clock Thursday evening until Friday morning 8 a.m. so winds at that time may be gusting closer to 50 even 60 miles per hour. Here's a check of future track showing morning rain tapering off at lunchtime. Just an isolated shower possible mid to late afternoon, though. Most of that rain is east of us and the sun is breaking out a little bit for that commute home. The overnight looks pretty quiet with dry conditions expected through tomorrow morning's commute, but clouds quickly increase and by lunchtime we already have some showers spreading in. Can't rule out some rumbles of thunder tomorrow, but especially going into tomorrow night, we see that rain increasing in coverage once again. Your forecast today after morning showers, it'll be a windy, warm afternoon with a high of 72 winds gust up around 35 miles per hour. Winds die down tonight and will be dry with a low of 52 and then tomorrow will start dry, but showers develop with a chance of thunder. We'll have a high of 65, not terribly windy during the day, but the winds increase tomorrow night and some stronger gusts are going to be possible through Friday morning. Friday afternoon, we're going to see some sunshine. It will be cooler with a high of 57 in your storm team Two seven day forecast. Saturday looks really nice back up to 65. We get windy again on Sunday with some morning showers possible and cooler conditions and then we're right back into the 60s early next week.